greetings humanity of our world. We are anonymous. So. Another police officer managed to kill another teenager, and 16 shots were necessary? Really? An off-duty police officer, in the United States, in a city of St. Louis, has shot, and killed, another teenager, who, so say they declared, fired on him, police said. Triggering protests just miles from the Flashpoint suburb, of Ferguson, Missouri. The St. Louis Metropolitan Police Chief, Sam Dodson, said, the officer was on patrol for a private security company late Wednesday, November 26, 2014, when he so-called alleges, that the officer engaged three men, in a chase. Sam Dotson said, the men ran away, when they spotted the officer, who the officer so calls believed, one of them was carrying a firearm, and of the way he was running. The officer chased the man, an altercation ensued, and the man, so called, fired at the officer, the police chief, Sam Dotson said. The officer returned fire, and then killed the man, who was only 18. According to Sam Dodson, ballistics evidence recovered from the scene, suggested, that the teenager fired three rounds. The officer returned fire, with 16 rounds. Sam Dodson, who was unable to say, why the off-duty police officer, fired so many rounds. In the wake of the shooting, people gathered in the area, to protest against the killing in Ferguson. A few miles away, there have been almost nightly protests in Ferguson, since the fatal shooting in August, of Michael Brown, an 18-year-old, by a police officer. After this latest incident, some who identified themselves as relatives of the man, who was killed, told the St. Louis Post-Dispatch newspaper, that he was very well, not, armed. One woman said, the victim was her cousin. Her name will not be mentioned on this video, for security reasons, of course. He was unarmed, the anonymous person told the newspaper. He had a sandwich in his hand, and they thought it was a gun. It is like Michael Brown, all over again. The officer, who has worked for the St. Louis Police Department for 6 years, was doing a secondary job for a security company when he says, so called, approached, the four men on the street, which the other officers, who was around, so called said. As he exited the car, the gentleman so called took off running. He was able to follow one of them, before he so called lost him, and then found him so called again. As the so called guy jumped out of some bushes across the street, said police lieutenant colonel Alfred Adkins. The officer approached, they got into a struggle, they ended up into a so-called gangway, at which time, they so-called say, the young man pulled a weapon, and so-called rounds were fired. The officer returned rounds of fire, and unfortunately, the young man was killed. He did not name the 32-year-old officer, or the innocent man, until proven guilty, by a court of law, who was killed. After the shooting, a crowd of around 200 people gathered at the scene, in South St. Louis. Many of the protesters marched to a main road, partially blocking traffic, and chanting. Whose streets? Our streets. As a police helicopter hovered above, overhead. At one point, about a dozen people punched, and kicked, to occupied police vehicles, one that was marked, and another, that was unmarked. Demonstrators then broke the back window of marked police vehicle. As of early Thursday morning, November 27, 2014, none of the protesters had been arrested, so Sam Dotson said. Organizers of the demonstrations in Ferguson had promised to intensify their protests over the Michael Brown's killing if the officer who shot him does not face criminal charges. Three prominent members of the protest movement, that has sprung up, after the deadly police shooting of Michael Brown, who was unarmed, told a rally in New York, on Tuesday night, November 25, 2014, that there would be a fierce backlash, if a grand jury declined to indict the officer, Darren Wilson. 
if they cannot serve justice in this, the people have every right to go out and express their rage in a manner that is equal to what we all have suffered, said Ashley Yates, a co-founder of Millennial Activists United, who was arrested while protesting in Ferguson. Ashley Yates, who spoke alongside with Tefco and Tory Russell, activists for Hands Up United and the Organization for Black Struggle. Right after hours after it emerged that authorities in Missouri were making plans to deal with potential riots and the event of Darren Wilson avoiding prosecution. More than a week of unrest, followed by Darren Wilson's fatal shooting of Michael Brown on August 9, 2014, after the city officer, who says, trying to stop the teenager and a friend for jaywalking. Really? Several witnesses have said, Michael Brown was shot while running away, and when his hands were up. But his officer's partners say, he assaulted Darren Wilson first. Really? Officers cracked down on the protests with armored vehicles, and dozens of armed officers, in riot gear. Demonstrators were shot with tear gas, and rubber bullets. More than 220 people have been arrested, since the protests began. A grand jury in St. Louis County is now considering evidence gathered by their so-called county police inquiry. Now, here is our conclusion. This pattern that we are seeing sounds more like false flag attacks to get humanity to riot, to declare martial law, to strip humanity from the protection we all have under the constitutional law, which is a protection from tyrannical governments. To the United States government, we declare you to be a tyrannical one, which all of humanity can blatantly see is hazardous, murderous, and a danger to all future generations to continue. How many people have been shot and killed by police officers? And their initial report says that the suspect was holding a gun, and then later they say, oh no, they were not? And then, the corrupt corporate owned mainstream media is like, oh, the kid was a thug, the kid was a menace, the kid was a monster. Some of those who believe in the mainstream media act like that is a good reason to take someone's life. That is completely bull shit. Police do not have the right to shoot people. Unless the person really has a gun and is attempting to hurt someone or has or attempted to. There is no justifiable right to use extreme force. The whole story is not out, so we cannot begin to assume that the kid was innocent. But we truly doubt that he deserved to be shot 16 times until killed. We doubt a child, that young, would randomly pull a gun out, and attempt to shoot a police officer. We cannot say, but we, as anonymous, do question motives. But regardless, no one deserves to be shot 16 times. No one besides a police officer, could get away with shooting someone, 16 times. No matter how good the reasoning is, it is sick that someone can unleash that many bullets to someone who is part of humanity and not even lose their job over it. We are anonymous. We are humanity. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To the United States government. You failed. Step aside and let us lead. Or else. Expect all of humanity. Humanity.